Hello, everybody. Almost ready to get started today. Hopefully everybody's doing well. It's going to be on the shorter side of streams, since I still intend on doing some Chrono Cross later. I figure, why not? Just do a little mini bonus stream. I was going to say, my YouTube upload schedule is going to be very interesting. I'll try to pace them out a little bit. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, from the standpoint of today's runs, I don't really see anybody doing the event quests at all. Like, I'm going to be real with you, chat. I mean, I was gone for like three days, and there only 100 points got added to August Atrocity 1. I don't think people are playing them anymore. So given that it's near the end of the event, unless I see some really serious pushes, I was like, yeah, I, I have it. Like the fact it only went up 100 points across two days, I think. It's pretty bad. Everybody gave up. I agree. Because we last played, what, on Sunday? So I'm, I'm pretty sure they had given up. Remote Battery and Marco confirming. So I wanted to do some hunts. You know, chat, there's still three items I'm looking to get before the end of the event. We still have a couple of bonus streams left to go, and then obviously Saturday, Sunday for a big wrap-up. Uh, so hopefully, <laughs> I will end up with them. So those items are Vivian, Galatine. I, I would, I, I think Yashmenikov was on that list originally, but I'll remove it. Let's start with those two, then maybe we'll we'll dream big for Heaven Striker. Prepare for Griffin runs. Uh, I'm actually gonna start with episode four if it's the right beat. Because the other thing that's also on the bingo list is Dorfana Claire. <laughs> Where is Dorfana Claire, chat? I wanna see if the, this enemy is real or not. I'm not entirely convinced it exists. Well, welcome, Promethean. It's not the right character bank, but I just want to see the... Oh. PSO. Did PSO just crashed for the first time. Feeling okay there. Try that again. That was weird. I mean, you all witnessed. It just went... Bleh. <laughs> I recognize this song. This is oh there is a remix of this in mystery Etrian Mystery Dungeon. Or actually no it's not. It's the Transform song slow down. My bad. Yeah, that was weird. So it's odd beat right now. Hmm. I mean I'll just switch who I play as, it doesn't really matter. I just have to go to here. It took me a moment, I was like, wait a minute. The song after this one, Betting It All. It's the song I thought it sounded like. So we'll start off with a little bit of yellow ID. We'll, we'll do a little samplings here and there. I don't necessarily need it to be even beat, to be honest. I'm willing to bully this boss with just about any character. So I like yellow ID just because, like, if I get Kondryu, it's Daylight Scar, and some people care about that. And if I don't get it, I get Galatine. So we'll probably do a mix of uh, this and probably RT for Galatine. Okay, I have enough HP to survive. That's that's the most important thing that I had to check really quick. I was like, wait a minute, do I have more than 900 health? Yes, no. I'm gonna go ahead and make the game. I saw Promethean and Marco in the lobby. You have room for one more. In theory, if we get rare enemies in this quest, the payoff is pretty big. Uh, Girasol from Zeus and Cannon Rouge from Dorfon. So in theory, we could end up with some very interesting drops. And it doesn't really matter if we get rare boss or not, which is also nice. So it feels a little less terrible doing a rare enemy hunt. So we'll give chat like a moment or so to come in. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's anybody around. I don't see anybody hopping in remote. I would say if by the time with the stream delay, nobody has typed anything. I would assume you can just hop in. I think the one thing I do want, though... Let's 
do I not have a 3C? Oh, it's on already. Okay, I was gonna say. I was like, I hopefully have a spare one. That would make me very sad if I didn't. Okay, I think everything else is good to go. I could put away his Cure Shock for an Adept, which I think would be fine. I pref I don't really care about being shocked. I kind of care about running out of TP in the quest. Yeah, we'll have to retrieve our other adepts from our other forces at some point. And I need to remind myself who has it. Uh, so I'm assuming nobody else is hopping in. That was sufficient stalling. Definitely calculated and not just me bumbling in the menus. I don't know what you're talking about. Give remote battery a moment or so to join. There we go. Good timing. I was thinking about from the prior stream making my own soundtrack of favorite battle themes. After the I'm not gonna say disappointing. There were actually good songs on there. It wasn't the worst list we've ever heard. Nila Rage as a blonde. That is true. Not living up to the character name. Aw, uh, joke's on me. I don't have my Gafoe stuff, so I wasn't gonna Gafoe here. I didn't troll myself this time. Hoping for rare zoos and dwarf bonds. Everything rare here is value. That's like kind of a rare enemy hunt. Because yellow ID surface otherwise is just kind of okay in value. It's definitely not in like the top four. Top four. I would say it's probably bottom four. It's definitely nowhere near as good as like green or uh, red. Actually, green's kind of mediocre on the surface. I take that back. I've been besplatted. That's one out of nine. Technically, I could play the anniversary anniversary quest to see Dorf on Eclair. I think the difference is there's 13 in the anniversary quest versus nine. But the difference being that I would rather go for the boss with yellow. Yeah, probably later on we'll do the, the green-red version of this quest, just to make sure that, uh, we have everything we need. after the Astarks, and we should be fine. Oh. Get denied. Nice spread needle. GG. You bet this song would be on my uh, battle theme list. It, it might be in the it might be in the top ten for me, honestly. Like there there there's some controversy. You could put things like Final Fantasy boss themes. I could see that being very contentious, being high on people's lists. But ooh, in terms of regular battle themes, this is one of the best. Double Astark into the Force Killer wave. 
guess I'll stay roughly in the middle and spam Razan. There's no downside. Slow them up as much as I can. I'm so worried this is gonna have lyrics. I don't recognize the song. That's the real fear for me. I'm like, please, no lyrics. You know what I thought was funny, actually, when I was uploading stuff to YouTube the other day? Apparently, of all the things to get me copyright, Chrono Cross did. I was like, really? We played, like, 12 bazillion soundtracks on YouTube, and I got, like, a song. <laughs> like, four plus soundtracks that would tag it, but Chrono Cross tagged it twice in a row. So sad. Copyright too strong, chat. Sorry, do I only have one trifluid? <laughs> I just looked at that, I'm like, uh... One second, that doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> I'm like, listen, I could do the quest with a low amount of fluids. Literally one, actually not doable. One second, especially with single out of, that's actually insane. Oh, there we go, and then we'll just rejoin the group real quick. I'll get to buff them again. They still got like 17 seconds of buff, they'll be fine. Anyway, back to the battlefield. I'll even top everybody's health off for being absent earlier. Also, I probably should have consumed that trifluid before during the tall fight, maybe save me a trifluid. Whatever. Should hit the next wave. I might have to move one step forward to do a little better. Yeah, that'll slow them down significantly. Yeah, there we go. That was a good position. Yeah, this quest is also fantastic for leveling. Get S Stark. So we'll do another group hug. Put it over here. Ouch. Like, run. Like that wasn't too, too early. That wasn't too bad. Mostly were. was doing all of its processing power to remember which button on the controller was dive fluid for a second there. It's like dot dot dot. Was it up or down? Damn, team already clearing through here. And after the zoos will be the Marissa, so I just need to make sure to keep a steady wave out. Actually, one thing I should have brought with me was a uh, magical piece. That was a small mistake on my part. Also, where's my Kafoe merge? I mean, I could use Rafoe, don't get me wrong, but I'd rather Kafoe merge. I'll change our equipment later. I do sometimes need Rafoe to hit the spinners, depending on what it is. Stun luck with Zeus. We're gonna do a lot of damage to the Marissas. Yeah, definitely grab a magical piece next time. Speed it up a little more.
I get this point faster following. There we go. If he wants to dodge me, I'm just gonna grant some. He'll be killed one way or another. Press on the next way. Continue forward. Just remember, it's two Goron detonators in the bottom left and two in the upper right. The team has that. Like, that is partially true. Right, we're gonna go in the middle here and resound. Watch it home. It'll be Marissa's in the middle. I'm gonna start my stacks. I should at least wound them a little for the team. Put my debuffs in. Lore should help significantly there. Actually cooked. There we go. Should stun lock them a little bit. Definitely gonna appreciate that damage boost. Hmm. That's gonna be triple Goron Detonator in the back as a reminder. We'll weaken this wave up a little bit, speed it up. I think at the end I might go bring a magical piece. I think I have one in the bag. So lure there should save some big time. Pull everybody up. Really power from them. Ouch. I've been bullied. using the zoo to basically stunlock the room. Love doing that. Hmm. Make a small adjustment on that room next time. Should still work though. As long as I'm not like super close to them, that will hit them multiple times. Kind of like an unconventional stack. I could get at least two fireballs to hit them. Saves a little bit of time. That should slow them down. Be able to Razon them to death. Might even kill Gurdabubu by accident with Razon. Okay, we're let, we'll let the cast go through and do the Confused Trap strat. It's gonna not interfere. And they'll be in a perfect position. Oh, that also works, I guess. <laughs> and then they'll be in a good position to hit the Goron Detonators, which will be behind them. Yeah, I kept the one guy in a, in the starting animation, so I'm gonna go back to good place. Got a few out at least. Like, 
think my Rizan damage really matters. More important than I rip Bowie. majority of them and weaken them quite severely. Once this wave is done, I can hit by the only one that's not debuffed. That's so sad. Yeah, this should hit them because I'm in the corner the intent for sure. I'm gonna debuff them so I don't take like 6 trillion damage and die. And it's just Goron Detonator by himself with the Satellite Lizards, so I'll prepare for the Satellite Lizards. We're gonna balloon. In theory, this is Swordsman lore. Let's see if it happens, though. I'm going to choose to blow my meter to see if I have something to damage the boss. I did. Uh, it's important that I bring this for next time because it'll save a lot of time. Okay. <clears throat> That way I'm not blowing through TP and I do more damage. Okay, team has mostly the meter set up. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna go slightly to the right. <laughs> I was actually hoping to not fight Conjure you, so I'm kinda happy about that. It gives me a Galatine chance. We'll do a couple of these. We'll switch what quests we do. Probably some RTs over TTFs. I would like to live that Galatine life. Got him. At least I could do that phase pretty quickly. Everything else... Uh, <laughs> Okay-ish. So no matter what, I'll be assisting people with heals and Zaloring the boss to help Cannon Rouge users. Occasionally slipping in some Rebarda. I have enough HP that I should live. Oh, I got the squad with me. I, feel like, I have a feeling this boss is about to get mag blasted right in the face. It kind of deserves it. You know what? I'm going to go greedy. I'm going to go dead center. See if I get punished. Hell yeah, I got punished. Oh. Oh, team was not hugging the wall. Rip, team. That's on you. You know what? I'm kind of glad I, I kept the spinners over here. That seemed like a bad play, but then all the spinners aren't here. I think I win that trade, actually. Take that all day. I'm gonna put on a Rebarda Maroon. Nicely done, team. <laughs> I'm running against him. Run away. Get away from me, missile. Oh, just as a heads up, you can just Vulk in that if you want. You, you don't have to use the Bazooka. And it sounded just one core. Yeah, that magic number I think is 2552 or something. I only half pay attention. I just look to see if there's any damage ones. <laughs> That's usually my cue. I'm pointing, I'm like, I want to see my Galatine. Oh, no Galatine. One day chat.
anyway, this is gonna be power leveling Voidana. But technically he was made to do this quest, so I just gotta get him some levels. So Magical Piece plus the right merge should be a really big jump in damage. We'll do a few more of these. And maybe, just maybe, we will see Dwarf on Eclair. I think that's on my list of things to see. Maybe Blue ID, Heaven Striker. And then Rouge on Yellow ID. We're gonna switch into Kafoe Merge, and we're gonna equip the Magical Piece. The question is, how many fluids do I have? Six? That's probably fine. With enhanced damage and slower cast, that should be good. So technically, if I wanted to take advantage of his, his invincibility, I can. I am proccing his Resta due to being low HP. Oh, congratulations, Prometheus. So it does help when I'm lower level, because I'm double healing the team. So it does get me to like a little bit of Rebarda. It's not as useful as invincibility, but nice to have it. Oh, only 50 hit? I don't know about that. Yeah, if it's not triple 50s, it's, it's gonna be worse than Restless Lion. Unless I misread that, let me check. I don't think I did. Yeah, it's missing an attribute. Yeah, you could get a lot better though. Actually, no, no, never mind. I'm just right. We're good. We're good. That's a little above average then. It's fine on, uh, AB. Some buffs. Spam Gafoe. Welcome, Barometer. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I was like miss. I miscounted. I didn't. I didn't realize you put a. Uh... That's fun. I think it's probably good for heat. Well, yeah, probably heat to seal. Turn it dwarf on real quick. Alright, things are already going much faster with clear speed. No regrets switching into this setup, much better. Doing like 180 more damage of Fireball. I did that Solar not hit anybody, it's so sad. It's been the tail end of the invulnerability frames. I'm gonna do one Rebarda and the debuffs, and then I'm gonna go back to Chloe Sacking. I'm gonna set up for the next wave. There we go. I was doing 400 before, I'm now doing 594. That, that's a significant speed increase with kills. I think that was absolutely worth the swap. Yeah, look at that. There we go, now we're saving some time. Well, let's get out of the middle. I'm gonna have to group hug here, I think. Good enough. I was gonna say, I'm just, I'm just gonna walk out of range, hopefully. Uh, I need to actually kill me if I don't do that. 
I am just wearing a frame. I'll probably give him a deal cloak or something. I don't have a spare ignition, sadly. Despite many, many runs through episode 4, I've not seen one yet. I guess that could technically be on my list of things I'd like to see, but I'm not in a rush on that one. That one is at least a farm I would do outside of a anniversary event. Oh boy. The abuse begins. Should be prepared for the next wave. There we go. Look at that time save. It does drop in very hard. I have not had it drop for me though. There's several times we've been there. I technically even went for at least nine or so quests, I think, during the anniversary event. I haven't seen it. In fact, I don't even think we saw a rare wrap beyond very hard. Kinda sad. Oh, I'm not farming spaceship. Screw spaceship. Especially as someone that doesn't own like a Hell Needle or Hell Shot. No way am I doing spaceship runs. No thanks. We did that briefly to get points up. I'm like that. Nah. We don't need it. We don't need it. I don't find Sorcerer Runs that fun. Yeah, like, I don't have a Hell Weapon, so I have, like, zero motivation to do it. Meanwhile, I could just play, like, a 180 Force like this and kill very hard stuff. All you need is Hell Needle and Demon Max. Congra congratulations, I don't have them, so I'm never doing them. Even if I had them, I still wouldn't do that run. I'd still rather do Blue Eddy. It's not a question of PDs. I have like, I think 600 PDs. Don't use them on anything. Get rid of these things. Yeah, it's just, I, e even if it exists, I just don't like Spaceship. It's just like a, a whole bunch of items that I'd like. Just just not good hunts. I'm sorry. I just, I even like doing this for Daylight Scar over Spaceship. We still get like a Cannon Rouge. Maybe. It kind of reminds me of Caves in a sense where like, there's some good items there, but it's like, I want to make that my home. Oh my bad. I was not paying attention to the wave. Distracted. Material, but no door fun. Still charge into that and die. Yeah, it's just kind of like one of those things where it's like, hmm. I would be more inclined to do like CCA. Like, I, well, not more inclined. I would pretty much only really consider doing CCA runs with Hell. There are actually items I'm interested in. I think some of the CCA hunts are at least doable. I find them like ultra tedious or anything. Power is not something I like to hunt. There's like certain ones I'll consider doing. Yeah, CCA, like I mostly have fun with it, even without hell items. But I can't say the same about Spaceship. Dealing with Barans. Like, nah. It, like, I don't even like doing that in regular mines, and I don't even, I don't even do that anymore, because there's just better means for me to farm Excal now. I'm not desperate for them. I'm like, no, thank you. Okay, 
Yeah, maybe if I make a Ramar. If I make a Ramar, I'll consider what ID I would want him to be. Is we a blue ID, Rocket Seal? But she can already host stuff. Pretty much any area. It's like, what do I want to take advantage of on Ramar? I already have a green ID one, so he's there for the Miracle Runs. Like, I'm not... I don't have, like, too much else I really want to cover in Episode 2. I already have, like, a million White Rangers. Just thinking about, like, what Ramar would love to do. Oh, did you get red item from Gurdabulu? That's brutal. That's brutal. Swordsman War would be nice there. Oh, I don't know. I'm definitely more inclined, I think, to pick up some uh, demon mech guns. I feel like my runs would benefit from them. Hell Slicer's not bad. There, there's enough I would consider doing it with, like, Yuka Seal. Or even just as, like, an emergency hell item for Ranger. But honestly, I don't know what hell runs I would do if I did get Hell Needle. Like, other than literally CCC. Challenge mode stream one. I'm not sure. That depends on if I have something come up between events or not. Because unfortunately, we're going to go from this event pretty much right into October. I don't really want to do challenge mode during a special event. I'll need a hell needle for Seabed. I don't... I think we talked about this before. I actually don't think that saves you a lot of time. I actually don't think it's worth it. If there's two people that have hell needle, I think the run actually gets slower with three hell needle, unless everybody's foregoing the buffs. If you're going for the buffs, it's slower. We we literally did it on stream, and I am 100% convinced. Because the time you save Helling with three people is lost by people needing to walk into the chainsaws rather than two people like brute forcing ATP the whole quest and then having the other people join in. So like, it's an if-then condition. I would say maybe we could try a triple hell needle in theory, without getting the buff and see how that is. But I feel like that adds inconsistency to the run. Right? Because then you actually have to deal with the boss. Nice, more defense is appreciated here. So, yeah, I don't think I would use Hellneedle there. Because usually I use the Geese as an opportunity to catch up in uh, PB. Is where I would consider doing it. And then Seabed... I guess it would maybe save me time if I'm already capped. But we're talking like... 10 or 15 seconds worth of save. It's not as significant as you think it would be, unfortunately. If I'm already capped from fighting Geese, then yeah, that'll save me time. But if for whatever reason I'm not capped, not worth it. Where well, we've seen the power of Demon Mech Gun if we're gonna do Tower, or if we're gonna do Episode 4. My enemies near me. Slow them down. Lieutenant Mantle. But like, otherwise, are there any other big quests? Like, for me, the only one I can think of offhand would be uh, CCC runs. Because that would enable me to have another way of leveling people. Which is not a bad thing. But I'm also just as happy playing as a force in the same scenario. Because we saw, like, one force, like, two hell was pretty strong. We know that potentially, technically, if every player had three hell, it would be good. So at most, I would just be lending it in those kinds of runs. 
Otherwise, I was pretty happy with just being blue phone human. Just like if I want to do like hard mode unlocks, I would be playing a force, doing CCC, or like Beyond the Horizon over the other options. So for me, I'm not like hyper sold on getting Hell as my first thing. I might actually just go for Demon Mech. I feel like there's just a, a lot of really annoying things I just like to have deleted instantly. Especially if I'm playing cast. And then also pretty high up on my list since I solo play a lot. It's probably going to be a Zalur handgun. To be real with you, I've done way more solo TTF than any other quest in the game. Not even like a close comparison. So like when I'm playing my Raw Cast, my Q Cast, my Raw Casil, my Ramar, I would absolutely like to save a minute every TTO. <laughs> I was gonna say that for me is value. Then I don't have to worry about playing Forest ever again. Like, oh we don't have Forest, it's fine. We only have Ramar for buffs, whatever. Bronze badge, that's rude. Well, that was a much better use of tri-fluids. Well, I am definitely more sold on that than other things. Oh, I was gonna say, where's my spirit right now? 40 hit ray gun, no special. That's actually sad. Yeah, I, well, especially if we're going to do challenge mode in order, it would definitely be Demon Mech first. And then I'd have to decide whether I want Hell Slicer, because I do play a lot of not force that would potentially benefit from it. Oh, that's the end of the soundtrack. Am I getting baited? Nope, baited. A couple hits there, my bad. Soundtrack distracted me. I guess I could allure this. Yeah, I should probably bring Ice Staff here if it's looking to be more optimal. Not that I think we'll do more than one additional run. We're switching over to RT or something. Yeah, Forest is pretty strong. People trying to chase the dream, as it were. Mm. Let's see if it goes for me this time or not. Yeah, it did. That sucks. Okay, spinners? Oh, no spinners. Unfortunate. Careful, team. You're a little too far to one side. There we go. Ooh, that's so uneven. It sucks. Oh well. I might as well stay here just in case it comes back. Actually, no, it got popped. It got popped. That was a good recovery. I almost walked into the spin around time. I wanted to walk around during the cutscene. That is three Galatine chances. Let's see if anybody gets one. Nope. Good Galatine. Our material... Sure. Oh, 
feels like a minute faster. So it shows the difference. If I bring good equipment, I trim about a minute. Because them not needing to deal with the settlement wizards is kind of an important threshold to hit. And we'll do one more. And we'll uh, switch it up. I could say technically I went for Dorf on Eclair and Galatine. Oh, no, nobody's playing it in Parameter. In two days, it only went up 100 points. Nobody's playing it. it. You have to put it this way. The points are doubled, and it's still less than 50. Yeah. I think that's kind of the downside of the RBR. We're seeing it... The, the theoretical, everybody will do it, versus what actually happens. So, to be honest with you, I kind of hope that they don't do this next time. I actually just like the kill milestone better. The time to boost to separate players. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do, like, I don't want HBR for the event, because I just genuinely don't like running that many events back to back to back. Like, I don't miss HBR in its standard form. I just feel like this one should have been a milestone. Like, it would have been a lot closer if they did that more for, like, Christmas, for example. I think for one where there's not many quests to begin with, it's not that bad. Like, there's obviously going to be, like, a pretty heavy use between 1 and 4 compared to some of the other ones. But I don't think we'd see, like, the disparity of being need to feel like you have to play so many different quests. I would like to have seen it on something where the, the balance of them is a little better. Although, arguably, I think something similar would happen for Christmas Fiasco too. I feel like a lot of people don't play it. Move the boost if disparity reaches a certain threshold. I don't know. It's one of those things where HBR worked from itself because if you didn't want to do those quests, you don't have to. You just don't get the enhanced bonus. For the people that grind out, they get the reward. The problem that happened in the event quests, and I'm sure I have still not looked into Discord, so I'm going off an assumption here. A lot of people have probably felt forced to play August Atrocity, where those quests are not as value-driven as all the other options. So when they realized, which is a lot of people, that, hey, I can do forest runs, right? It's easy value, and somebody else will do all the work for me, so I'm not really going to do the runs. Which, I don't know if that was their intent, but I mean, it's a pretty obvious outcome, to be honest with you. And that's just the problem with that kind of system. So unless the quests are, like, very inherently balanced between themselves, it's not going to work. Like, I don't think this would have been a huge issue, to be honest, outside of maybe Seabed and Tower if the atrocities didn't exist. I don't feel like that's, like, a super hot take, either. Because compare, compare the value of the atrocity quest, for example, to, like, the absolutely ridiculous uh, December Disaster quest. The ones that go through episode 2 in particular. Where it's just like everything is such high value. Where all like the best creatures are in like high amounts. There's still some annoying waves so it's hard to do solo. It has some similarity to how like this quest was done. Like my other Gafoe hit him early. My bad. I did stop casting Gafoe for a bit but it just barely hit him. Oh well. Kind of the downside, if, if, if you're not expecting the group to kill very quickly with the forest, you could be like, oops. I stopped casting like eight seconds ago, but Gafoe said no. I don't even think it's badges. The problem is like the monster counts are like literally some of the top three on a lot of the enemies. Like there's, it's just so much value. Even if you had made it like four silver badges, I don't think people would have run it. It's because there's not, like, a clear identity winner with those quests, right? Like, there's, like, three or four really good IDs you could do forest. There's, like, one or two clear IDs you play in tower. Seabed has, you know, your classic Psycho 1 runs. 
Maybe we'll do some of those before the event ends, just to say we did Cycle 1 runs, but... Yeah, just some quests are just so much inherently better. Like, even the spaceship quest makes, like, an otherwise kind of garbage area playable. Where, like, the quest itself is based off of an already commonly run quest, with the difference being that there's more of certain enemies to make it even more value-heavy. Kind of like how CCA also has, like, a, a ton of value, because it's, like, one of the more run quests outside of Tower for Episode 2. So I'm not sure what they could have done. Like, it just requires, like, a lot of balancing. I don't know if they would could have had to, have, like, rework the quest slightly. I mean, they're all custom quests, so they could have rebalanced if they really wanted to for this year. Yeah. I, I do feel like... I do feel like that optimism that everybody's going to, you know, get together and work together was, uh... a little foolish. What can I say, chat? I, I'm, I'm very pessimistic when it comes to that stuff. It's kind of like, oh. So I did my best to try to motivate people to do it, and we did get a couple milestones thanks to work done on stream. Let's not take away from those things, but it's like, yeah. I mean, are people really gonna hunt spaceship for, like... Daylight Scar and Gurren over, like, Ubers, over Excal? Not really. Like, the, the only saving gra grace is that, like, the quests that are good at Heaven Striker are not, like, the anniversary quests. If those quests were actually, like, the, the most efficient one, you would never see people play anything other than Desert. But it'll, it's just kind of, like, one of those inherent issues, sadly. So I think it I think it would have worked with less quests that are more finely tuned. Or uh if they had removed the atrocities. I'd still think you'd see some of the issues with Seabed and Tower. And again, that just comes to just like a value problem. Just, you know, I mean look what people gravitated towards. Those are the quests that have the most value, I think undeniably. Yeah, it's just kind of like, okay, you get like two hunts, or you play like forest and get four. Like the math, the math doesn't work. Oh, I gotta actually do something proper this time. Yeah. And that's the problem too, it's like you might put in the hunt work, but it's like you're barely adding any points to the total by yourself. If you're the outlier, Kinda hard to bring the total up by yourself. Which comes into the inherent inherent issue of HBR. Like I said it on multiple streams, but I said it I think two or three streams ago. When it comes to HBR, I really didn't play a majority of the quests that were available. Were drop chart changes? Maybe. But I think some of the I think the atrocity quests need a, a rework. If they want to put it in the context of value, they need to seriously rethink it. I think those quests probably need the most updating if they want people to run them more seriously. It's okay to have it as like a gimmick, but it's like, yeah. I do think there are some, like, niche quests, but again, like, there's nothing inherently wrong, for example, with Temple Quest. But the problem is, like, if you look at the meta, the meta doesn't support the drops, right? Like, who are probably the two most used classes in PSO? And none of them are female, so why, why would they do Temple? And then who is one of the most popular forces? And it's not a female. Just kind of one of those things, sadly. So, like, those drops are, like, technically really, really good, but, you know, how many people are going and rocking out the Huka Seal 
or potentially Fomarl over like Phonum and Hughcast, Rockcast. Like it, it can happen, and that's why you know some people play Temple. But in terms of like majority rules, nope. Yeah, I think I said last year, just to be very clear, I was like, I think I did one rotation of quests, and I went, nah. After that, I did it just to say we did it, and I don't think I even completed. Because I actually enjoyed more doing my own hunts than when it was just the milestones. Like, for example, if I just wanted to add to the kill count, I had, like, a selection of quests. And I almost wonder if they had retooled it to consider more, like, kill count being applicable for those quests, if that would have changed their usability or viability. This forest, unfortunately, is also a really fast clear, even in the anniversary quest. So it's just kind of brutal back to back to back, where it just, there's no reason to play the atrocity quest, other than to experience them once. Yeah, take a look again at the December disaster quest. Like, those quests were, like, not only... Like, to me, kind of fun and a good reward of people with and without gear. And there's, like, good knowledge throughout. I don't feel like I ever really played the last couple of quests and felt like, oh, I found, like, a secret that unlocked Atrocity, so that way I can have, like, more fun with the quest. It just kind of felt like you need to be split up. There's nothing you can really do as force to control the waves. Because there's so many fire-resistant enemies due to the split enemy types. I felt kind of bad as a force player. Where in like December Disaster, I could be in like really specific spots, for example, to deal with murder flowers, or I can hit like uh, tight groupings of them if we don't have like as many traps as we need. Or the fact that, you know, there's only like a couple ill gills or a couple other things. So at least I would be able to have like the team focus and be able to be the demon player. But I feel like with how many enemies there were in, like, the atrocities, I never felt like I had an opportunity to do anything other than Zalor spam and hope that I didn't get hit by something fire-resistant. Like, compare, compare, like, the comfortability of gameplay on stream of doing something like the tower quests, which are supposed to be inherently harder than, like, the other areas, and, like, how butter smooth it was. After just figuring it out in like a few runs, like I didn't watch other people do it, I didn't play public games of it, but it just it just naturally had like spawn patterns that were kind of easy to negotiate. Whereas Atrocity, there were a couple of times in Atrocity 2 where I was like, oh okay, I think I understand where to like I can put my back to this enemy. And maybe I can lock down the murder flower while, you know, you deal with gibbles or something. It's like a couple times it happened, but it didn't feel like a snappy. Maybe a little sad. So again, some of it comes down to enemy placement and also just enemy variety. It would have been nice if they had catered, as I said before, to like some of the meta less loved IDs. Like, if they decided to make it, like, a really favorable pink, orange, blue, that could have been nice. You know, something that isn't necessarily, like, a TTFID. Like, I definitely, I don't think TTFIDs generally need any help. RTIDs sometimes need help. Yellow would have been, like, a decent kind of middleman in those hunts. But definitely did not want to see another quest where White ID was, like, the right choice. And it, like, kinda did Pink ID, as we found towards the end with Atrocity 2. But, like, I would still not run that over, you know, very common Episode 2 hunts of similar types. Like, not every quest needs to compete in value with something like a Phantasmal World 2. But it still has to have some kind of inherent benefit, either to the event itself or something else to justify playing it. And I just don't feel like it was there. Like, I like the idea of having, like, differently paced quests. Like, they tried to do that a little bit with, like, 
what is it, the Winter Solstice quest and Christmas event. I don't know if they've necessarily succeeded with that quest, which is like another topic I guess we could talk about, whether you think that quest is any good or not. But I definitely feel like there should have been quests of like different time length. The problem is that the short ones were not the ones that had problems, right? Like, if they were short but were not super rewarding, then it'd be like, okay, just do a couple runs and then you go to your serious quest. But unfortunately, it was more like, our short runs are the serious quest, so why would you do the long quest? So, just... Just like common questions. So, I don't know, maybe they'll tweak it in the future. I think it was definitely an interesting showcase. You know, for future quests. I think in that regard, you know, it's really neat to see like different combinations of things. I think some wave patterns were interesting. Like I, I thought it was neat to have like all the robots kind of teaming up with each other to have like a theme wave. But honestly, I would have really loved to have it to have seen it a bit more definitely force bias. I'm just letting you know, there's force bias. I would have liked to have seen more waves that would have had like inherent element kind of style targeting as you go through like oh this is you know this is your now you've spammed gafoe for four in a row now you can switch to ralphoe and get this done lock now you can switch to resond in order to deal with this i never really got that while playing in either of the atrocities it i think the atrocity one leaned a little more towards having some fire weakness but it, it just didn't feel good yellow near me. I don't really want to kill those. Damn, team killed that real quick. <laughs> I hit the Zalore button. Maybe a frame of animation played, and then the boss died. Sorry, Glide Divine. Even with your boosted range, I wasn't far enough or close enough to deal with that. I like this victory theme does not really change between the games that much. Mm. I got punished for being greedy last time. I'm gonna be greedy again. This is fine. Put the spinners here. Double tornado? That's actually also fine. What if the quest select was randomized per episode? What do you mean the quest select is randomized? Like if it combined RBR plus HBR, like at how is the weekly rotates? Yeah, the problem is like if you make it too complicated, people aren't gonna follow. I think that'll still hit. It, I, he didn't dip downwards. I think this should hit. I don't really need to buff. It should just die on its own. Good call. Good save. Would have been kind of awkward. But like, if I double Brevarded, that'd be 400, and Can Rouge would have been about 700 ish. I'm not sure if we would have saved it with ATP. The way up. Oh, I wanted to get lasered. So sad. Mm. Yeah. And again, some of it just comes to, like, it, it's quest balancing and drop charts. Like, would forests necessarily be a problem if they reworked forests? No. Are they likely to do it? Probably not. Oh, hey, a Galatine. Well, okay, that's one, one thing off the list. I don't have room for it though, which is awkward. Oh, Storm Wand, get out of here. Stupid Storm Wand, I'll need you. If I want you, I could pick you up in like any event. <laughs> Chat wants to bring it in and help me, it's up to them. Otherwise, I'll, I'll get one eventually. I'm sure I have like 30 on a character bank somewhere. 
This sadly did not come with hit. It just came with uh, native. Oh, you're saying if you come in, it's random. Um. I don't know. That has its own inherent issues. I can see what you mean if it was more like an endless, but I don't know if people would want to grind an endless. You take the extra clear some. Well, I mean, people have given up on it, too. Yeah, you don't want people resetting if they don't get the stage they want. Yeah, I'm, like, trying to think of alternatives. I mean, there are quests where, like, you could technically, like, select a path. But that kind of risks the, the, the same kind of balance issue. Like, if a quest had, like, three really good areas, then people would only run the quest. What if it locks their character IDs? I don't know. You're, I, I think that's asking for too much. Again, it, it's a complicated solution. For, for an event, it has to be pretty simple. People are not going to follow or understand when you get it too complicated. Um... I guess have chat humor me for a couple of pink ID runs? Question mark? And we'll move on. I just want a couple to say I did Vivian. Also, I need to put this away. Break the room if you don't want to switch. Oops, all humor. Yeah, you don't want to do anything that's class specific. Like, because it's like you run the risk of creating like a super quest. Like, if it if it identified what your section ID was, then it either has to be like the most amazing thing ever, or else you just isolate the community. Like, there's not really a. I don't think there's really an easy answer to the question. Yeah, I know you meant player ID. Oh. What? Oh, well then they just wouldn't make the game. That... Yeah, that doesn't work. People just wouldn't make the game then. Like, aha, I have 20 characters. I will play until I am literally forced to. Let me put these away real quick. What ID were you from, Ethan? A pink ID. Oh, cool. Uh, I don't really want to be Force into this, to be honest. Force Temple, kind of... Kind of, uh... There's not much for me to do in Temple as a Forest. Don't even think buffs for the most part are worth it. Yeah, you can tell we were messing around on that one. I'm bringing my own pink ID. We'll just do a, a couple of quick temple, and then we'll uh, switch IDs. Technically, we could do RT. Technically. I need to remember this character doesn't have the, the fast command. It's kind of annoying. parts if I really want to. Uh, 
Yeah, this should be good. <laughs> I got all I need here, chat. The lockdown crew. If I really need to snipe something long distance, I'll use that gun. Although, I plan not to use it. On the plus side, I will never block anybody's view of the level. play mostly supportive. I don't mind burning my traps because I'm very likely to level. Case in point. Thank you, V502, with this character's accuracy. I will be landing it. Here we go. I love the backpack is almost bigger than she is. That's something. There we go. I, I had demons just to hit the running uh, rampies. So I'm looking for basically the rappy draw. Oh, he's immune. enough. You know what? The demons actually did his job there, because it could be better than my ATP. Yeah, look at that damage. It's terrible. Hold a couple. So sad. Shoot, I can't hit the Rappi. Someone hit the Rappies. Oh no, chat, no! You can't let the Rappies run, it's the whole point of the run. Please hit the Rappies. So sad. I think I got one. Come on, Rappies, give me your goods. I can retire Temple. Yeah, the other thing is, uh, Mill Lily. We'll do, like, two of these. They're, they're not that long of a quest. That paralysis is real. Oh, I'm not at max accuracy. I'm still at 212, though, which is really high. It's still higher than Hunter's, but I was wondering. Thank you, thank you. Come on, Vivian. I just want to say A, Vivian. It doesn't even have to be good. I, just, <laughs> I will be satisfied if I see this drop, chat. We'll end it early. The last. It's not meant to be. <laughs> I couldn't even see my character for a moment. <laughs> She's so tiny. Actually got the insta kill, nice. Look at that. I'm helping. Almost got it. There we go. I'm so dead, aren't I? I feel like I am. Ooh, you tried. Valiant effort. There we go. Oh, I recognize this song. This is a mystery dungeon for sure. Here we go. I'm actually demoning and it kind of works, which is so sad. It's actually better than me using my ATP. Good 
paralysis lockdown for the team. Definitely want to freeze trap in a moment if I can. Where I'll get tro- Am I too short to trap shoot? <laughs> what was that? Oh no. Maybe it doesn't work with spread needle. I'll have to try in a second. Might be too short. That's okay, I barely trap shoot anyway. I was gonna say challenge mode. I tried with the handgun there and with it could be skill issue. I'm not I'm not gonna rule that out yet. I'll try it here. Yep. Did not want to target. That's so sad. There we go. That should make it easy for the team. I think a die mate is like a try mate to me right now. How much HP recovered? I will say, V502 does make certain quests a bit more fun. Doing the hunt in CCC would be fun. Yeah, we can try that. I'm mind experimenting a bit. It is one of the ways to reset Rafi. It's just the problem with that is that if we clear too quickly, it's easy to just not get the Rafi drop. That's the only downside to the hunt. Which is kind of a downside if that's the only thing that I want. But we could give it a go. I don't have Hellshot though. Please. Tell oh, Cleave says, but you could. Oh no. Feels like the demon on my shoulder. Yes. Yes, buy your Hellshot. Good of you. Well, welcome, Hell Cleave. I was gonna say, once we have, like, guaranteed locked-in names, in theory, I could go get some challenge mode weapon. Welcome home, help you. I had a surprising amount of health shots. Despite their EDK. Yeah, got almost 300 XP a second. It's actually pretty good XP. Now I'm getting closer to max accuracy again. Match for free. So we'll need to come up with names, chat. I'd still like to earn some challenge mode weapons for real, but I don't intend on playing challenge mode like nine times. I'm I'm in the once is enough category. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I have an idea for something for Halloween for PSO, but it requires potentially a workaround on something and I have to look into it again. I wanted to potentially do another dual screen challenge. But I'm not sure it'll work with the other game. I had issues last time. Alright, we'll do one more of those because it's fast and then we could do a CCC if you want. Just to say we did it. stats are interesting. I should probably feed her materials. 
I'll do the next. I find myself using Demon Needle more. Um, hands on the quest. See, I don't know if I'd really want to demon needle in tower, for example. Most things, there's not like a lot of enemies, and they're kind of far away most of the time. But if you're doing it in like whatever you want to do. Yeah. I see shop being useful for uh CCC specifically. That hitting the whole room is ridiculous. Power, I just take Bringer's Rifle. Yeah, but it's like, you would just mech gun the ill gills and everything else because it's faster. That's what Chat was saying. Yeah, it's Paralysis on Lilies. Technically, the Hill Belts can shock you. I mean, you'd still probably take both, but if you're playing single- or if you're playing multiplayer, you'd probably just use the demon max. You're like, Nyeom. Unless you're Hugh Cass, that doesn't matter. You're your own built-in demons. Yeah, I think there's more runs that we do on stream that would benefit from mech over Demon Needle. I could see Demon Needle if I'm playing, like, a lot of non-hellable targets. So, like, it... I could see it being somewhat useful in some of the enemy spam quests. But that also is, like, but then... I don't know. I'd have to compare. It would make me want to test it to see if it would be worth it. Because for the most part, if you go too easy, you just combo kill everything. It poses a dilemma. Where is Demon Needle best used? I guess it helps with, uh... Murder Flowers? Yeah, no Vivian still. Brutal. Photon Drop? Wow. Tease. Like, I, I- oh, I got one shot. I guess I could see it in, like, Ruins. If I did Ruins runs, I'd probably want that. Right? Something where I can't hell it, but it would help to kill them there. See, bad. I'm like, I'm not fully convinced. Damn, I actually just went on a straight-up killing frenzy until the end, then I failed. Speaking of Storm on Indra, remember how I threw it away earlier? Welcome back to my inventory. Oh, I'm so dead. Unless... There we go, we got there eventually. So that's at the top of my list. So I'm getting a little bit of accuracy, which is relevant. I'm starting to almost be able to triple, triple, triple hit them. Getting close. And we could try CCC after this. And we'll move on to something else for the next 50 minutes or so. There we go. It's It rolled terrible, but technically I can say I got one of the items I was looking for. Unfortunately, this was somehow not an upgrade. It, I, it like, just so chat is aware, I'm like, it rolled, it rolled 25 AVs, which is not ideal on Vivian in any sense. 
Heaven Striker was next. Yeah, that was one of them. I technically got a Cannon Rouge this event. I don't think I've gotten a Heaven Striker. We could go for it just to see if we could get the 3 for 3. I'll leave it on chat's call for what the final quest should be. So, got the Vivian. It's ter It was terrible. Did, did I not die to an insta-kill at 0 EDK? Wow. Right, chat? Like, what is that luck? Holy, hey, I'm too short or something. I'm like, I did not dodge that, I don't think. Wow, what is that, a 30% base chance of surviving that? Not even. Paralysis is real. Yeah, I'm gonna give this character some materials later. She's still, she's still at zero materials. But unlike other characters at zero, I feel like at least I'm able to kind of lock things down pretty well. And all the level ups mean I could just kind of spam traps if I want to. So I feel like I'm still contributing. I'm actually able to kill some enemies on my own, surprisingly. Poor Hellcleave, though. I guess what would be the ideal... Oop. Music pause, please. Did that really pause bit song? That was so awkward. I guess we would do... I think we green ID or something? Just thinking like what we would benefit the most from. Red ID gets to go Brave Man. Technically we could do boss rush again in episode 4. more levels. That accuracy actually matters. ATP sort of matters. I'm hilariously not even close to using Excalibur, but I'm sure some power materials will fix that later. Well, that is risky. I don't know why I walked in into the middle there, knowing they can one-shot me. I don't know what, may what possessed me to go over there. So we're just gonna lock them all down. It really doesn't matter if I get buffed again, I'll be real with you. I don't contribute damage. Oh boy. I contribute freeze traps though. We're gonna be throwing a couple of those down. Yeah, you're not getting unparalyzed. Get out of here. Dumb enemy. I should probably die. Well, we'll take this. Okay, we saw a Vivian. We got a Galatine, finally. Did I get an Excal this run? I guess I didn't get an Excal either. I technically have a lot of them, so I wasn't putting that on my original list of three. No, we'll take that hell kill. Take that hell kill all day. 77 EDK, doesn't matter, I went for it. It's not like I'm killing it any other way, right? Might as well. Paralysis is nice. Thank you, chat. You helped me get a Vivian. Unfortunately, it somehow did not beat my almost zeroed out Vivian. I feel like the game is actually trolling. If it had even been like... Up TP. If it had even been like slightly better rolled, it would have been an upgrade. Right now I'm using a uh, 0, 0, 0, 25 dark, 0 hit. <laughs> Just, like, the bar was really low, Chad. I want you to know, like, we're, we're, it was, like, almost scraping the ground how basic that Vivian is and how easy that would have been to get a better one. So sad. Oh, well. I mean, I guess she'll keep it. It would be nice to have more melee options in the future. I guess she quote-unquote earned it. Also, 
I forgot to take materials out to see how much I got in this event so far. But we didn't play too much this week, so we'll just let it slide. But you can see I got back up to like 62 power. Keep in mind I emptied out, uh, what was it, 80 earlier in the event? So I think I literally got enough to gear up a whole character. From one from just two weeks out of the whole event. We haven't even completed this week, of course. Also ripped that power material I left behind. Um I don't know, chat. I mean what do you what would you rather do? Do you want to do Heaven Striker or, or Red Ring? I technically could use both. We got an LNK combat. That was on my list to get an upgrade for. unfortunately on native, which does make me a little sad. I would have been happy if that was machine or dark. I don't know if there's many enemies I want to kill with 20% native galatine. Who knows, maybe it'll come up. It's still better than some of my options, but I'm not sure if that makes it better than Daylight Scar at that point. Let's we'll see if chat has any preferences. So... I'm leaving it between Heaven Striker or TTF. We have enough time to do, I think, two two or three runs of each. Of whatever is selected. I need another Heaven Striker. Well, that answers that question. Alright, so I'm leaning towards maybe... Maybe just boss clear on green. Get greedy for uh, Gelatine. Let me host his green ID. My brain was processing that for a second. I should be a force. I guess we could go down the list of Heaven Strike requests. I have enough time to do that, I think. I don't need like a big break before Chrono Cross. I just want to make sure we're not streaming at like 7.40 or something still. I could go for like another 50 minutes. Yeah, let's do... I'll do new mop-up operation 4. And then we'll do new mop-up operation 3, because we talk about those quests all the time. Let's give context to the players that don't know what I'm talking about when we select those. And then we'll end with a boss rush at the end. It should be even beat, I think, by that time. Maybe. Because that way it'll option select into Dorf on Eclair. One more attempt at seeing Dorf on Eclair in this event. That's the other bingo, the bingo sheet. If we see Dorf on Eclair, we win. Okay, we'll do new mop up. I guess we'll start with three first. Have Astron dealt to bully people. Need to get my Adept self another character later. I'll do that another time. I'm like, I got all I need. <laughs> Red Ring V101, we're going melee. All oh, the paralysis is awkward. Just be really careful about par paralyzing them, because they will teleport unless somebody's hitting them. These enemies punish you for just spamming spread, sadly. These enemies, though, don't matter. So yeah, these Pyrogorons potentially will drop the Heaven Striker. Fire Scepter to spam Rapoe. It should be fine. Well, I'm just slapping him. Listen, chat. Sometimes you just gotta assert dominance. I'll do my best to keep the team mostly healed.
purple for the uh, Goron detonators that are near me. Fireball should chip out the Yowies. This will hit the upcoming wave, which is nice. Next room, I'll switch more to Rafoe. I do find like there's at least enough enemies that will walk towards it to make this useful. Kind of like this. It's free damage. From here, I could probably switch to Rafoe. I think it's worth me messing around to get merges, to be honest. We're not going to be playing for that long. If we're playing for like two more hours with this character, maybe I would go get the right stuff. As long as I have Fire Scepter, it's good enough. Sad we're getting hit percentage on Justy. That would have been interesting on Galatine. Not necessarily useful, but it would have been interesting. Let's at least before we stack properly. Realized I didn't take my bringer. Unfortunate. Mm -hmm. the next room, or not. Maybe not literally the next room, but the next time we're in the long burning room. Should be a uh, interesting time for Gafoeing. If I stand in a very specific spot, I can hit every wave. So even though if the even though they're not all satellite lizards, they will take two to three more. And not this room, since it's not a burning room. You can see how they all teleport in. We've seen the hard counter against that particular strategy is if a freeze trap goes off before they get hit, they'll never teleport. It requires a lot of coordination with Cass. I do like that challenge though, as the Hugh Cass. Try to pop it early before they all teleport. Always interesting. Oh, I recognize this also from Etri in the Street Dungeon. This was called for each justice or for each justice? I think just each justice. So interesting. I've never played the third entry in Odyssey. Maybe at some point we will. Actually, no, this is not each justice. This is like hoist the sword. Look at that. If we stay around here, I should have like a million Gafoe stack targets. You see how those Gorons aren't technically stackable, but they still walked into the triple Gafoe that was lingering anyway. I'd probably like to Gafoe in this room. 
actually a multiplayer. So go ahead, hit me. Oh no. Oops. Guess I'm just gonna hit the Gorons for like 800 damage. Oh, somebody's low on health. Rip. It's all the red, but then the melee happened. And another wave that walks into the fireball. Does a lot of damage to them. There we go. Barely have to do anything. Oh, I gotta heal again. That scared me. I thought it canceled my heal. No, I don't want to kill more party members. What is it called in Etrian Odyssey 3? Waste the sword with pride in the heart. Makes sense. Similar title in Etrian Mystery Dungeon. Yeah, I think this quest we usually just full clear. You could technically jump out of this quest, Seven Striker, but honestly, it's so much XP. We're still at a point where we care about it. Promethean doesn't, but everybody else will benefit from it. Character is getting alarmingly close to level 200. That's not a badge. Oh, wait a minute. I should probably just throw some junk units on him. Probably just like one of the many heavenly powers I had earlier. He's already at max accuracy, I might as well just put him at max ATP. If I had more spare heavenlies, I guess I would do it. In theory, I could run more red ID boss to try to get another century into these characters while still getting Cannon Rouge. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Kind of option select all the ranger drops. I'm gonna be the zoo on the upper right. If I do anything about it though, I guess I have a foey to stop him from dive on me. I think that's the right call. Like, nope. these there. Definitely need to debuff. And some simple techniques, heal the team. That should be a lot of damage coming their way. I know the wall of enemies is gonna spawn. Do I have a glide to bomb on? I do. And you buff the room. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, th this is also one of those waves I don't like to mess around on. I'm like, nah. There's gonna be too many random BS things happening. We know in the middle of the room there are going to be more Grand Detonators. Try to slow them up with Kifoe, I guess. Buy the team some time. I'm going to switch into Glide to bind it. Handle the debuffs in this raid. This will work. Watch, chat. We gotta play Red ID Wednesday. We'll finally get Dorf on a clear. 
and it just literally doesn't do anything. As opposed to the time we were playing green and yellow and it could have given us Cannon Rouge. I feel like that's the classic Dorfon behavior. Like, oh, did you want something useful? Like, I'll uh, pass on showing up today. Also kind of sad yellow ID we never came across a Bazuzu. Would've been nice to get a Gear Assault chance. I'm not gonna call that one of my hunted items. That's more of a nice to have. If I just incidentally do a lot of yellow hunts, I'll probably get a Gear Assault. I'll eventually need a few. I'm gonna make more hue casts. I think I have like two spare. It definitely is like a zero rush at the moment, but something I'll have to think about later. Coming in with zero out of. I'm surprised I haven't used more fluids. Silly Zoo. Already fireballing. sometimes pay PDs for that if it rolled well. People love their cosmetics. Might as well just stick with green ID all the way through. Although if we do episode 4 boss, I should probably pick up some barriers. I'm like, I'm not walking out of here. No, thank you. Hmm. I guess I could just put an Excalibur on me for now. this to try to maximize our damage a little. Okay, so sadly nothing dropped there. We'll do number four next. So in that previous quest that we just did, you could clear the first wave of the second room which leads to six Pyrogorons, or go until you hit the third switch. We are 29 Pyrogorons. We did the full quest clear, which is 40. Now this one, we would normally run to the third warp and reset, but I guess we could just finish the quest. Finishing the quest gives 55. Playing to the third warp gives you 44.
Oh, oops, I did it in reverse order. Third warp is normally where we leave in the other quest. I headed backwards. I'll be honest. Forgot we did the other one first. Gameplay. Let's do four now. So yeah, this this one has like the super quick resets. We'll we'll complete the quest probably. Oh, oops, my bad. Let me lobby. I was looking at the quest god. Go for it, hell cleave, says Ramo. What is today's forecast? Oh, female rangers. Well, it's almost pew pew at fall. Almost. Thank you, Remote Battery, for uh, playing along. So we'll wait for Hellclea, presumably. Or Remote, never mind. The fake out. Yeah, most hunts benefit from dropping rare up. There's a couple enemies that have 100% drop chance. Obviously, the uh... boxes. Obviously, rare enemies don't benefit from drop rate up. chances is how we have on now. There we go. One thing I don't like about episode 4, I really wish they would just lock the door. To just let us know which door is the fake door. I feel like that's just kind of a cruel and unnecessarily time, time waster when we, do, we don't remember the quest. I think does benefit a lot of hunters when there's only four it's especially for things with yaoi's in between definitely see like an oops all hunter party murdering this group a huge oral for buffs or something assuming we're going back this way I think if this enters the RBR, it removes the time limit, if I remember correctly. As I was gonna say, I feel like I've played this before, but I didn't have the time limit. Yeah, and there's the triple Marissa. This quest being in the RBR, I think, does help make it a bit more viable. The other quest is just really, really good value. This has a difficulty curve of uh, needing HP to survive. Fire traps. I always forget. The problem is I can't write like left, right, left because my camera is there. I guess I could try to do it based off of compass directions or something. But... It does have a very annoying amount of backtracking if you miss the telepipes. Satellite Lizard.
Yeah, like when we had groups of like 12 plus, I definitely like the rangers. But you can see like there's only three satellite lizards here. You can imagine just a team up of like two or three hunters basically just annihilating everything. Hit it again. Damn. Guess wrong every time. Okay, so from what I remember, when we come up to here and go to go to the next area, I'm going to leave a telepipe down. We're going to take my telepipe at some point. The team can continue north. Don't follow me. Don't follow me. I'm going to go ahead and take it. Team can put something for me to join them, and then we're going to take mine later. And I should be good. That'll save us some time in the quest. I need somebody to put... There we go. Perfect. Just in time for a photon drop. I couldn't tell if that was from Pyrogoron, but either way, that felt mean. Yeah, so now later, we could take that, because we also need to put the warp there again, if I remember correctly, because there's actually another warp there. I need to remember that when I go to take it again, I have to place it again. You can technically walk around the room, I think, the first time, but the second time, it helps to not do that. I almost remembered it was left. Almost. Yeah, you'll see a room with a switch. That's when you know we basically gotta go back. Go ahead and buff the team before they go too far. Did I get Silver Badge from Pyrogron? Disappointed. Alright, chat. Disappointment is real. I think next room is the Switch Room. You can see, like, we could technically do the Long Walk of Shame, and there's also uh, a mini shortcut to go back to where we are, but yeah. The moment we pop that uh, Switch, we're gonna take my Teleport. There's some time save in multiplayer versus single player. That sound, that's the kind of quest design that I want to see. Like, a little bit of time save here and there. It's just unfortunate that there's a lot of walking in the episode 4 quest. War of Limits in particular. Uh, so I need somebody... I'll hit the switch. Somebody else TP. Here we go. I'm going to take my warp because I'm red. Let everybody go in first. Oh. I took the warp. I'm gonna put my warp down again. So the reason I want to do this is that there's another gate that is where I just put my warp. We're gonna take my warp another time after this to save about... This one's a big time save. The other one's like maybe a 10 second time time save. This one is like a 30 second time save. It's like super important we don't forget that one. If we forget the first one it's not too bad. You basically go like two rooms in a hallway and you're back where you need to go. This one is atrocious. You need to literally reverse out the entirety of the hallway, which is garbage. I'm kind of excited. I heard a rare drop sound. messed up you go all this way just to hit one switch just to walk all the way back. I don't like- I don't like that version of the quest design. There we go, chipping them out. Alright, so somebody warp. I'm gonna hit the switch. And take my warp. Okay, there we go. One, two, three. Yeah. There we go. Time save. 
Look at that chat. I haven't played it in a while. I kind of did it right. Not like fully. I remember the important thing, which was the morb. Get out of here, random enemies. It would be nice if we saw a V101 from the birds. I'm not gonna say I need it. Just like my dream goal of seeing it at an anniversary event. It would be nice. Gotta give Promethean more value. I think it's like worth five cookies, maybe? Six? One value drop. <laughs> there you go. It's four enemies. Being actually destroyed right now. Yeah, I definitely like this more during RBR, but I think it's important to know how to run both quests. The other one I'm more inclined to play up to the warp and skip. It's getting 44 is really good, and plus there's so many enemies. There's just a lot of PD drops, so I think New Mop Operation 3 beats it in terms of value, but obviously this quest is going to be a lot easier to run with characters compared to the other quests. Take it as you will, I guess. Nice, gold batch. I've been the bonked. Leave me alone. things up pretty heavily. Our goal is just to make every enemy basically borderline useless. Protect the team. Oh boy. Paralysis. Enemies are not going to be doing very much damage. Basically, GG for them. Over badge. Here we go. Quest complete. I'll just take the normal worm. Do one episode four quests, I guess. I'll keep it on green ID. It's almost even beat. It's so close. It's like three beats. This will be the final run of PSO for the night. I do need like ten minutes to eat, but otherwise we'll jump into uh, Chrono Cross after with after this. Is chalky woods. Do that. And I'd like like every version of the song. Last chance at Rare Dwarfon. Technically, Green ID Rare Dwarfon does do something. The odds of it being Rare Dwarfon now are zero. <laughs> lock, lock it in, we're not seeing it. Oh, 
by door fongs. We'll see you next event, I suppose. Goodbye. And believe it or not, if I were to run this quest four more times, I hit max level. We need a little less than 1.5 mil. Every quest is 450,000, I think. Say you watch out. We're gonna get conjured. At least if it does that, I hope we all get the centurion ability. We check it's a free PD value. Ooh, I cast slow enough that I got punished there. That's what you're saying. Two cookies, exactly. Otherwise, we'll get another shot at Galatine. Hopefully my Kapoe doesn't troll. It is lingering quite some time. There we go. That should be good enough. I still like Etrian Mystery Dungeons version more, but I like this version too. I feel like some of the songs are missing like one note at the end, like when it does like da 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 da. Like it needs to hit like one more note after that. So it sounds like that. It sounds like it stops like one note short. Like it starts climbing a scale and then it stops. Where it they definitely kind of like. Flitter and flutter with the flutes and the mystery dungeon version, which I like more. Wow, mystery dungeon really does have a lot of uh, songs from three. Kind of funny. This one's definitely scatter about. Leave me alone. Scalibur saved me. I back to the boy second. Remo battery climbing ever closer to 180. Also, congrats, Marco, on passing uh, 180. Hopefully, you enjoy Red Ring. laser activated. We're now at full strength. Thing come from. Oh, the synthesizer. Yeah, that's a quest reward. That was from 
We mop up. Three. Sorry, escape doll. I kind of want to gold badge a little more. Very heavily. Oh, I was getting bullied there. Get off me. Rough time. Fonda Claire. What a tease. We'll definitely try to get it uh, later in the week. Just to see a door Fonda Claire, how long it'll take. I think we've killed like a hundred or so. Yeah, they're both quest rewards. I believe the Shishito, or however it said, is the seven branch sword. We learned that from Phoenix Wright. And the other one's literally a guitar. It's the synthesizer. N no, no one dropped it. It's a quest reward for me, yeah. I've been trying to tell you that. Everybody gets one per account clear. No worries. Oh, and this one's their own brand of justice. It's inside of each justice. Makes sense. Ooh, I actually like this version more than the Mystery Dungeon one. those up. I need to take like one more step further. So sad. Is the answer zero? Hmm. This is gonna be an interesting run. Bonk. Okay, I picked up one. I should be okay for a little bit. We might have to die on per- Oh. <laughs> Ten on the floor. Uh, I'll consider. That makes it easy then. I just looked at him like, wait a minute. I guess I use- I guess I did use four on the way here. We'll let team get in position for the Goron Detonators. Kind of get in the middle to stunlock some of them, give the team some time. Or that way they die a little quicker. And I'm going to start stacking the Wave for the Maritzas, because i got to think a couple of waves ahead. This will slow them down for the team. our wall of heaven striker chances. Let's see what happens. Nothing for me. I think this character already did new mop up of version 4, so that was probably the branch sword. We're about to take some serious damage from me, GG Rappies. My spam is real. Two more solid chances if you want to one. I 
do think it's kind of silly we have not seen a Pazuzu so far this week, but we'll improve it, I guess. We saw one last week, at least. Oh boy. Let's try to get in a good position. Grun Detonator is incoming. I'm going to use Glide Divine here and Eva. Will they get out of control? <laughs> For a moment there, I was like, why am I not casting spells? Followed by, oh. Okay, another Heaven Striker chance. We have one big Heaven Striker room right before the boss. Hopefully we get lucky. Be nice if we can give the chat something. Where'd a rare draw? Aw. Boo, not what I thought it was. Sorry, Marissa's, you're already dead. Oof. Debuffs make them do so little damage. Everybody had a kill range against the Grand Detonators. This one might be making. Maybe we'll have a playlist for boss themes versus battle themes. I think that's the only fair way if I did a playlist. There, there are a lot of really strong boss themes. But I fear that they would kind of overtake the battle themes. They were allowed to be in one list because there are just so many good ones. Hello, Megblast. Rip Megaphone. He said chip them out during the cutscene. Uh oh, we were left in room free. Yeah, at least the Grand Detonator seemed handled. I can't believe that freeze work. She's one of them with Roberta. Gonna be the Wall of Heaven Strikers. Be amazing if we got it here. Last big chance for it. Finds it away from the future. Nope. Unfortunate. And okay, we're kind of doing Heaven Striker as a yet again an incidental rare, with the main rare being Galatine or Off Chance Cannon Rouge. That is a super frozen enemy. You know what? We're actually clearing so fast, we might actually have time for TTO. That's kind of on fire right now. Be real with you. Well. Yeah, and then I'll pause the stream for like eight minutes. Eight minutes. It'll be Chrono Cross. Probably rebuff people. So we got a chance at Galatine again. I'm not gonna say no to. All yellows, it sucks. Whatever, I'll do my best. Interesting that other parts of it are still to lord and injured. Switched. Oh, I don't have. It's a rare red ring.
chip it out a little bit. Better than nothing. Oh, I got the glitch. Yeah, let's go. Kill our teammate as a reward. I'll look to the team. See what they do. Yeah, nice and clean. Good job. Yeah, I like going for the when I take damage, the rest of hits me a little bit later. It does actually save time when it occurs. So I don't need to rest them while standing up or try mate. There's a nice little trick to do. I guess I could spam my Galgrip and wing here. Oh, no Galatine, sadly. So yeah, so four more of those would put me at, or actually at this point, three more of these would be enough to level this character to 200. A 40 hit Gladius, come on game. Do a little better than that. Okay. Gonna put some items away. Honestly, he could kind of keep the god technique. Definitely, well, at minimum, the heavenly power. I don't care if he can. You need to put the work. TTF to end the stream, I guess. The way we could say we did variety, even if some of that variety includes TTF. Hmm. I guess if we wanted to live the dream, we would just play Sky ID for Ubers. Otherwise, Viridian is the preferred value hunt. Green's okay. I'll make the game. Let's live the dream. Let's go for the Uber. Yeah, something tells me we are not going to take more than 15 minutes to clear TTF. Even without a force, I don't think it matters. We have so much damage. Yeah. Got some confused traps. And a couple free kills. Yeah, sadly these guys always need like a little bit of a bump. Put down a second confused trap to hopefully kill another one. Oh, we got an extra kill that way, nine. Um. Oh no, double cannon rouge, GG. Kaboom time. Or is it possibly triple? Oh no. Triple Cannon Rouge. I'm so sorry, Sil Dragon. I'm so sorry. Let's see if we can get the glitch. Gotta time it for when he stits. He's like just about to go completely motionless. That's the timing. Oh, we almost got it. That was really close. You got it, team. I believe in you. Let's 
see if that's far enough. I held up right and it made me go left. It mu I must have been holding the direction prior to the camera shift. As I said before, it does some weird things. If you're holding a direction already. Because if I was if I actually went upright relative to where I was, I should have been moving towards the, the corner, not the far left. So it registered up, but it like inverse my directions, which is interesting. I'm gonna try to get a slime dupe going. There we go. Let's get a kill here. We could get Sange here in theory. No middle Lily. Die. Take a bronze badge though. There we go, that should speed that room up significantly. Feel free to kill the nano dragons, you have time. You might as well as kill them, honestly. Do this and walk on by. I think I have just enough time to do. I got a little greedy with my kills. This might be a little suboptimal. One, two, three. Do a little baby steps. That way I'm not as far away from the door. One more set. I'm really close to the door now. That works. <laughs> I'm like, it's Jaya clock. Nice, I got invincibility. I'm gonna need it for Jaya. I actually like not getting invincibility with Canterbury just because like I could get attack reset. I'm not gonna switch to Excal. Should be some insane damage. Speaking of which, so I'm gonna hold to the bottom right. So now that I did it while the cutscene is here, I should actually go bottom right relative to the north, whereas before it just kind of made me go wonky. Cleaning them up real fast. Huh, not sure why that missed actually. I was lined up with them, maybe it's just a max distance thing. It's all invis visibly up here, goodbye. Ooh, he almost got me. I'm gonna do a little room cleanup, don't mind me. GG to them. They got outplayed. They tagged me once. So I guess in a way they won. And the reward is killing each other. Yeah, see, I just got three Sinnoh Blues by walking in a circle. I might as well check them for free value. Sadly, no Sincesta or whatever. Silver badge. Hello, Twin Blade. 
blaze. It does so much damage when I hit with it. Almost got the kill there, actually. I was gonna say, I think he was just a hit from death. I was almost afraid to declare it. It was like, uh... Usually Twin Blaze speeds it up pretty heavily, unless there's like a Gazan Sunlaw. It almost counts, like four or five hits is like somebody killing an entire screen with it. Oh my gosh, it didn't target me. How rare. And a Twin Blaze just to pop a little easier. Pause trick, free crap, corner for aim. It's fine, a little off in the aim, but we still got there in the end, that's all that matters. Silver badge. Oh. I have to go back for that. Sorry, sorry TTF case. <laughs> like, I, I kind of need the silvers actually. Unironically. I'm murdering you. Because I'd rather do that than come back later. Okay, so Indie Belra, I think, is a chance at a costume. LD, I think, is Psycho Wand. Or is Lava's Cannon. And then Psycho Wand is from the Source. We might as well go for the off chance rares. For here. That freeze trap let me down super hard. You get a witch. Oh, no Lava's Cannon. Oh, well. That's an awkward point for the soundtrack to cut. Yeah, let's listen to this one. song like this, how much I have left for the stream. Ooh, that is a really aggressive clumping behind me. I'm not gonna try to turn around and shoot that. There were way too many attacking me. I'm gonna get off me. Hope what we can on the sides. This one in a prior wave. That should have ended it. Oh, maybe I missed. Nope. Maybe I miscounted. I'll just start attacking. Yeah, there we go. Buffered mech gun. That's how, that's how you end that fight. <laughs> so dumb. Listen, chat. Sometimes you're just like, you know what? The odds of it being targetable, good enough. Ooh, I don't know if I swap fast enough. I hesitated a little bit, that might have cost me the swap. Unfortunate if I missed it. Got some hits, but I could have had more. There, group team. If it goes around again, I'm gonna start reviving. Oh, legit the only person alive. That's so sad. Group team.
There we go. He messed up up themselves. You're on your own. You cast can, can't do that, sadly. Because I felt like running around with Esperance and actually using them. I'm gonna say, that's certainly gonna add a lot of time to the run. That was like a minute lost. So sad. Ooh, we are actually not hurting false for very much here. Not good. My eye vice. There we go. Thank you, Vice, for doing like 6,000 damage for no reason. The fact that like every vice shot with sacrifice is almost a thousand is kind of insane. What a broken weapon. Yeah, without Zalor, we definitely do less damage, but, uh... We got there in the end. GG. So we're gonna- we're gonna turn the stream off- Stream, excuse me. We're gonna turn the stream off for about 10 minutes or so. I'm basically just gonna have a quick dinner. I already have it with me, I just have to eat it. And, uh, we'll continue with Chrono Cross. For now, chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to you two. If you did watch to this point in the video in the VOD, or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching, and hopefully see you again in the next part.